Oh boy. Here we go. Keen blazes across the Isle of Fire. Everybody? Meet the Berkeloid. It's made of fire, it throws fire, and it's an asshole. That was close. That was also close. Okay. Oh. This is gonna take some time, I'm sure. What I've got to do is lure this big thing down here onto this flat spot so I can jump over it. Stop throwing fire at me. Sorry, son of a... Yeah. This guy sucks. And that was embarrassing. So my neural stunner has no effect on this awful creature. I can't do anything to him. I can't kill it. I can't stun it. I can't even temporarily inconvenience this creature. You fucking stop it, Jesus. Alright, alright. Twelve lives. You can do this. Calm down. Don't lose your cool. We got this. I did it in practice. I can do it here. Berkeloid, he was a Berkeloid. Happier than you and me. Come on, buddy, get down here. I need to jump over you. Boing. There we go. So, in the interest of not having this video be 45 minutes long, I'm going to save a lot. Because he's not the only Berkeloid. He's one of about 10 or 12 of these ridiculous things. So, I need you to go over to the right. So I can get down that pole. The other right. There you go. Come on, buddy. Haven't got all day. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Go, go, go. Okay. Watch out for the slug. Watch out for the rocks. Stupid rocks. I think it was that one, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Now these rocks don't have a official name. At least not in the game, but the Keen Wiki calls them Mim Rocks. It's M I M R O C K S. Alright, he's distracted. Go! Kill the slug and get down here. Key, turn around because I see you little rocks trying to come after me. So if you get down here you find yourself at a switch. That switch activates a platform up above that will lead me to five ice creams. There's also a secret directly above the switch. Just jump up and left and start walking to the right. These things crack me up. <laughs> Crazy rocks. Okay. So you have to jump up a couple of times. But anyways, you find yourself at what appears to be the level's only secret. That has an extra life in it. And I take it you rocks aren't coming back down. That's <laughs> All right. <laughs> Keen's on his pogo stick down there just bonking his poor little head. Okay, so it's a bit of a trick to get back up out of here. 
even though it's a simple jump to the right, it's kind of hard because you can't see what you're doing. Yes, come back down here. So I can run past you. Alright. Oh, Jesus, I am fucked. Okay, so I need to get past the Berkeloid that's off to the right. And this is gonna suck. But let's see what we can do. He's right there. The way to do it is to get up on this ledge. There's actually two ways. When he's all the way to the left, you can jump down between him and the fire and try to go. Or if he goes to the middle and stands in that fire, you can pogo over him, which is... Neither one is particularly a pleasant way to get by, so... Uh, put the book away, Keen. I need to concentrate here. That was close. Well, that's not going to work. I think I got pretty lucky that first time. Hopefully not too lucky. I don't want to spend ten minutes trying to do this. Oh, you fireball through one. Fireball. Okay, back up on the ledge. There we go. Now, I think I'll save again, actually. Twice, why not? Oh! So damn close. And I hit the wrong button. Okay, this is probably going to make a loud noise, and I do apologize. Yep. Ugh. I pressed right, but Keen didn't go right. Why did he not go right? Commander Keen, we need to work together on this. Go! Go! Ugh. I'll just sort of rapid fire these saves and just try to get by it. Nope. Need to wait longer. Yeah, you see what I have to work with here. This is pretty ridiculously difficult. Hey, now. Oh, oh you fireball-throwing fiend. Come on. Why are you not going to the right when I'm pressing the right? Commander, what are you doing? Uh, oh my god. I really do apologize, everyone. Holy slug shit, I made it. Okay, open the door, get up here. Wow. That's hard. So. Anyways, let's move on. We can finally make some progress. So the platform up to the left is the one that I want that takes me to the ice cream. The one to the right, not worth it. Okay, so. A wee little bit of platforming to do. It's not too terribly hard. As long as you don't look down. You just have to get your timing just right. Stay sharp, Keen. Ah! <laughs> Alright. 
Yeah, settle in, folks. Get some popcorn. This might be a long episode. So we're about halfway through. Oops. You know, thankfully, it is nice. This is the only level featuring the awful Berkeloid. Okay. Made it onto platform number two. Oh, sh shit. Of course you did. Of course you were right there, and of course you threw that. Of course. God, these things are just awful. Terrible enemies. And, you know, the Isle of Fire is actually a required level to beat the game. You have to do this. Okay. Alright, made it over him. Made it back there. And made it back to here. Okay. I can work from here. We can finally have a little progress again. Whew. I just wanted to show off how to get the five ice cream cones, really. It can be done. Is it worth it? I don't know. So, now I gotta get through that door. Which means just getting by this guy again. The ideal situation is when he goes a little bit far to the left and then throws a fireball sort of distracts himself for a second. You, know, you gotta get farther left than that. Come on, buddy. Everybody watching the video is waiting on you right now. Look, man. We haven't got all day. Screw it, I'm going for it. There's an army of rocks coming after me. Oh, hey, look. I went 10 feet. I guess it's time to save. <laughs> That's just how bad this level is. I guess not bad. It's not a bad level. It's just stupidly difficult. So, guess who's over here? Another Berkeloid. Berkeloid. He was a Berkeloid. Happier than you and me. Berkeloid, he was a Berkeloid, and it determined what he could see, and he dun dun threw some fire, and he took my life, and he fried me into bacon. Boom! Aw. Settle down, slug. Okay. You'll be happy to know that we're getting closer to the end at this point. Um, yeah. Okay. So. Oops. <laughs> Just when I thought I survived. Nope. Okay, it's actually not too terrible from here on out. I mean, it's still hard as hell, but the worst of it is over at this point. So, there's a bunch of candy and rockets and slugs around here. And I need to go get the blue key, which is kind of right down below me. There's a platform to the right right there that has a Berkeloid on it. And there's a platform down there to the right that has a Berkeloid on it. I'm actually kind of getting 
little worn out of saying that word. Strange. Anyways. Hop down here and there's the blue key. I just stole it. You did! Sorry about that, slug. But I kind of took my anger out on you. Anyways. There's the last of them, down there to the right. Ooh, not that way. Nope, nope. So that's the thing that you don't do. Let me show you the thing that you do do. <laughs> you basically just gotta jump down there and land in a spot where you don't die. If I can do that, I can get out of here. Uh. <sighs> we made it. Hello, Mr. Council Member. Oh, thank you so much for rescuing me. I'll return to the Oracle Chamber immediately. No problemo. It was actually a big problemo. Anyways, thumbs up. Keen enters the Shadowlands, and whew, the Isle of Fire has been beaten. Wow, this level's hard. And I mean hard. I saved a lot. That's the only way I could do it. I suppose I didn't have to go for the five ice cream cones or the secret, but I did kind of want to show them off. Anyways, whatever. That's done. Let's move on. Three Tooth Lake has been dealt galactic justice with an iron hand by none other than Commander Keen. So with that done, we can move on in life. I still have the frozen Arctic North to take on, as well as the Southwest Mayan jungle with the pyramids and the desert. And I think I'm going to go here next. I've already beaten Miragia, but we still have this place and the oasis. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Commander Keen 4, Secret of the Oracle. Anyways, thank you for sticking around this long and watching all my loading and saving. I'm Hair Monster. Uh, stay loud. Save my game so I don't have to do it all over again. There. Now we're good. <clears throat> Note to Super VGA owners. If you own a Speedstar VGA card or other non-100% compatible SVGA card, you'll need to type Keen 4 slash Gump on the command line instead of just Keen 4. This should fix all your problems. An alternate method is choosing configure, then options, then SVGA compatibility in the computerist menu.